Uh, I want to talk to you about um, Red Women Week. Well, I know it's about uh, the prevention of drug and alcohol use in like an extreme way. And I'm looking forward to see like a bunch of campaigns or something that will get the message out there to people that it is not good to abuse these substances. Red Ribbon Week. Today I wanted to talk about um, Red Ribbon um, Drug Awareness. One day I was going home and uh, I nearly got hit by a drunk. So I was just walking home and this drunk guy was coming very fast down the road by the opposite lane. And I had been noticed it early on, so I moved out the way quick, quickly, but if I would have not noticed it, I almost would have got hit. And probably, you know, probably would have been in the hospital and we're not here at the moment. It's something that's pretty serious because it takes a toll on a lot of, a lot of teenagers and a lot of their parents. So it's, it's pits right at home when somebody brings it up because First of all, for teenagers, it's something that we can deal with on a daily basis if, you know, we're offered drugs or alcohol and um, we have a lot of teen drivers, so there's a lot of chances of a lot of people getting in wrecks or getting accidents because of their use of drugs or alcohol. And we also have the other side of that where their parents are on drugs or alcohol and, you know, it affects them um, because it gets into a deeper topic, which is abuse. And, you know, when someone's intoxicated, um, they usually have like a tendency of not being themselves, obviously, but they get aggressive as well. And that could, you know, lead towards physical abuse. And not only that, but, you know, mental abuse and verbal abuse, this could cause them to say something that's obviously going to hurt them. Um, and when it comes from your parents, it, it gets pretty deep because, you know, um, hearing something that it's, is not really from your parents and they're telling you this, that's negative, um, it's going to, you know, stay with you for, like, the rest of your life. And then going on to physical abuse, um, when people are intoxicated or on drugs, this causes them to also get aggressive as well, which they could, <clears throat> you know, physically like beat on um, someone or their children. I feel like depending on what type of thing that they're on, I feel like they would just not really think about too much about what other people think, such as if they're scared, they'd be like, oh, it's fine, and it, they could possibly put somebody at risk because of that. People think that you're cool if you smoke or if you drink, but it kind of like damages your health and in the future it will definitely cause a lot of harm and so it you may be happy now but in the future it won't be the same way if i knew that they were on something put it that way um, i believe that drugs and alcohol are something that should be prohibited it is prohibited it's something that is bad for you bad for your body I mean, it's not it's not good for you it's we were hit by a drunk driver on our way out of a basketball game and I remember my little brother crying in the back and I got hit on my elbow by the, okay, so the car was coming and it hit our van and when it did, I slammed my elbow into our door and it kind of like, it was bruised and stuff and it hurt a lot and my family was really scared. I remember my stomach just, just falling and I was shaking and it was... It was not the best experience ever, um, and the drunk driver was trying to lie to the police officer, saying that he wasn't the driver that his girlfriend was, and so he was trying to lie to get away with what he had done. And it's kind of like, I remember the first few months after that, my mom would be scared to turn onto intersections and stuff like that because of what had happened before. Well, let me see what the entire thing is. If I know that they are possibly intoxic intoxicated or uh, on any drugs such as anything that can impair their ability to operate the machinery, I would be hesitant to get in and try to find an alternate, alternate way of transportation and or getting done what needs to be done. You can be the start to something um, that'll be the change.